Donald Trump is literally making a profit off of his campaign for the presidency because of anti-corruption rules. Here's how it works. Imagine that we had some corrupt oligarch who said, hey, listen, you're going to need a jet to run for president. I'll give you my jet to use for a dollar and you take care of me after you get in the White House. Well, because we don't want that, we require that when presidential candidates uh, lease a jet, they pay commercial charter rates for a comparable aircraft. Charter rates include a profit. It has to be built into the rate. Nobody goes into business to lose money. Trump charters his aircraft to himself, his big 757, his smaller Citation, and his two helicopters. He has spent a large portion of his campaign contributions buying services from Trump businesses. Uh, the office space for the Trump campaign headquarters is in Trump Tower, and by the way, they more than doubled the rent from the time he announced to the summer of 2016, when rents in Manhattan were not anywhere near doubling. He buys hotel rooms from Trump properties. He's used Trump golf courses for campaign events and Trump restaurants. So all of these mean that Trump will earn a profit. Now, more than a quarter of the money spent by the Trump campaign has been to buy services and goods from the Trump organization. Trump began his campaign with a large loan. He publicly said that he was going to convert that into a gift to make this issue go away. But that was months ago, and he has not done so. He's under no legal obligation to do so. And if he just raises enough money to pay the loan back, win or lose, at the end of the campaign, Donald Trump will have fulfilled his promise when he ran for president on the fringe Reform Party ticket in 2000 of turning a profit in a campaign to win the presidency.